Hello friends, welcome to my new video about sarcotubular system. So what is the sarcotubular system? Sarcotubular system, it is a system of membranous structure in the form of the vesicles and tubules in the sarcoplasm of muscle fiber. And it surrounds the myofibrils that embedded in sarcoplasm. Then sarcotubular system that is formed mainly by two types of the structure, T-tubules then L-tubules or it is also known as sarcoplasmic reticulum. Then T-tubules. So T-tubules or transverse tubules are narrow tubules formed by invagination of the sarcolemma. So in this figure you can see here this one is a transverse tubule. So that is formed by invagination of sarcolemma. Now these tubules penetrate all the way from one side of the muscle fiber to an another side. So these three tubules that presents from one side of the muscle fiber to another side of the muscle fiber. So it present throughout the thickness of the muscle fiber. So these tubules penetrate the muscle cell through and through and because of their origin from the sarcolemma, the T-tubules open to the exterior of the muscle cell. So they are open to the exterior of the muscle cell. Therefore, the extracellular fluid runs through their lumen. Now the membrane of the T-tubules contain a voltage-gated calcium channel that is known as dihydropyridine receptor. So this is a dihydropyridine receptor and this is a rhinodyne receptor. Now this dihydropyridine receptors they get blocked by the drug dihydropyridine and through which they activate the longitudinal sarcoplasmic reticulum. So this is a longitudinal sarcoplasmic reticulum and this is a T-tubules and this one is a dihydropyridine receptor and this is a rhinodyne receptor. Now comes to the L-tubules or sarcoplasmic reticulum. Now L-tubules or longitudinal tubules are closed tubules and that run in long axis of the muscle fiber. So this is a longitudinal sarcoplasmic reticulum and this is a T-tubules that is open to the exterior but L-tubules that are a closed tubules. Now these tubules form a closed tubular system around each myofibrille and do not open to exterior like T-tubules. So this is a T-tubules and it is a L-tubule. So that is a closed and T-tubules are open. L-tubules corresponds to the endoplasmic reticulum of other cells and at regular intervals throughout the length of myofibrils, the L-tubules dilate to form a pair of the lateral sac called terminal cistern. So this is a terminal cistern. Each pair of the terminal cistern is in close contact with T-tubule. So this terminal cistern that is in close contact with the T-tubules. And the T-tubules along with the cistern on either side is called triad of skeletal muscle. So this is a triad of skeletal muscle. Now in human skeletal muscle, the triad are situated at the junction between the A-bane and I-bane. Calcium ions are stored in L-tubules and the amount of the calcium ion is more in cistern. -a. Then what are the functions of the sarcotubular system? So first of all, T-tubules. What are the functions of T-tubules? So T-tubules are responsible for the rapid transmission of the impulse in the form of the action potential from sarcolemma to myofibrils. When the muscle is stimulated, the action potential develops in the sarcolemma that spreads through it. And since the T-tubules are the continuation of the sarcolemma and the action potential passes through them and reaches the interior of the muscle fiber, very rapidly. Then functions of L-tubules. So L-tubules that store a large quantity of the calcium ions. When the action potential reaches the cistern of the L-tubules, these calcium ions are released. So when the action potential that reaches the cistern of the L-tubules, the calcium ions are released into the sarcoplasm and through the 
calcium channel present on their membrane so this is a dihydropyridine receptor and this is a rhinodyne receptors so the calcium channels are not voltage gated and these are known as rhinodyne receptor then sarcotubular system that plays a vital role in the muscle contraction as it links the t tubular action potential excitation with the calcium release from the sarcoplasmic reticulum that activates the contractile machinery or contraction so this is a sarcoplasmic reticulum and this is a t tubules this is a dihydropyridine receptors l type calcium channel and this is a rhinodyne receptor calcium release channel when the calcium is pumped back into the sarcoplasmic reticulum there is a decrease in cytoplasmic calcium level that leads to muscle relaxation so sarcoplasmic tubules sarcoplasmic reticulum system that is a crucial in both contraction and relaxation process by mediating calcium release and calcium uptake calcium that triggers the process involved in the contraction of the muscle and the process by which the calcium ion that causes the contraction of the muscle is known as excitation contraction coupling process thank you